Today, I wanted to briefly go over how you start your paper in Microsoft Word. So I'm going to um, demonstrate how you would begin. Um, you've opened up the Microsoft Word platform. And the first thing you need to do is to click on the font. And that's going up here. And you want to click the down arrow and click on Times New Roman and then change the font size to 12. Once you've done that, click on Page Layout and set your margins. You want one inch top, bottom, left, and right. Once you've done that, go back to Home and click on Paragraph. Paragraph is right here. Once you've done that, you want to click on 00, zero here for spacing and then change the line spacing to double. And then make sure you click this box that says don't add space between paragraphs of the same style. Click OK. The next step is a very important step because if you skip this step, sometimes it's difficult to do it after the fact. So you want to go to insert and go to page number. You see that at the top? Once you click page number, you want top of the page and you want this one, the one that puts the page number in the upper right hand corner. Now this is really interesting. So I'm going to use a fictitious name, Palms, okay, and hit space. So we have the last name and then you see the number one. But notice that is not the same font as Times New Roman 12 point font. But Dr. Stovall, we've already changed it in the beginning. That font is set by the default font in your word processor in your computer. So highlight it, go to home, and change it to Times New Roman 12 point font and notice it changes. Make sure you have a space between your last name and the page number. If you don't do that, it will be right next to each other and that will not be in MLA format. Go back to header and footer, click close, and now you're ready to type your assignment heading. So let's use the fictitious name, Jane Palms. Okay, and then you're typing my name, Dr. Stovall, your class name, English 101, space, section number, space, and then whatever your four digit section number is, let's see, 4972, let's use that one. And then you're going to put the date that the assignment is due. So in this case, we're going to be talking about um, the reading response. So let's put 12. No, 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 it's 14. 14 June 2020. And then we hit enter. And now we're going to center. And when you center it, you're going to have reading response number one. Okay, hit enter again, and then we go to left justify, hit tab, and then we start typing. Type your paragraph number one. And so just so you can see what that would look like, here is the example. Notice there's a different date though. <laughs> And this would be paragraph number one, and paragraph number two goes a little on the second page. Notice, because you've set up your header, it automatically um, identifies your second page. For those of you who do not have Microsoft Word on your computer, I wanted to show you how you access Microsoft Word using your um, Outlook account. So let's click on my Outlook account. 
okay? And right here in the corner, click on that box, and when you click on that box, you have the web version of Microsoft Word. You click that, and boom, we have Microsoft Word. So we can click on that, and it should, da, 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 there it is. And we're going to follow the same process once it fully opens. There it is. And you just follow the same content. Well, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So the first thing I want to do is set my margins right here. Okay. Then I want to set my spacing. So this is a little different in terms of orientation, but we can still do it. It has zero, zero. Um, spacing. Let's see. Spacing after. So let's see. Little, let's see. Let's click on. That's editing. We want that at zero. Okay. Paragraph. There it is. You saw where I, I clicked on that. So click on paragraph. Paragraph options. Ta-da! Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Line spacing. We want double. Okay, and we want zero, zero. Okay, well, we don't, we just want it zero, and we want it double. And we're going to click OK. And I guess there isn't the other thing where you have to click to tell it not to um, use space. Okay, so let's go to insert, and here it is page numbers. Let's click on that, and we want our page numbers here. All right. And so once you have your page number there, you're going to put your last name and make sure you hit that space and then highlight it because remember I told you it's going to be in a different font. Look at this. Once you highlight it, it comes up for you. And we're going to type in Times. There it is. Times New Roman. Change it to 12 point font. And there it is. So once we've done that, we're going to go back to home, and it should put us where we want to be. There we are. So the header is already done. It shows you that right there. Okay, and we're all ready to go. So Jane, ah, for some reason, it didn't keep our font. So let's go ahead and click that again, just to make sure we have the correct font, 12-point font. Okay, we're good. Jane Palms, Dr. Stiffle. Enter, and I'm just hitting enter each time. English 101, section number 4972, and then we're using Sunday's date, June 2020. Hit enter again, and then we're going to center. Okay, and we're going to type our title, in this case, reading response. Number one, and then we're going to left justify. Let's see. There we go. Hit tab one time, and then we'll type the first paragraph. And that's it. And when you um, upload it, it will have the header there for you. Okay. All right. So thank you so much. And if you have any questions, let me know.